Master, Master, we have a visitor. You're listening to show number 38 of the Lesbian Mafia, and I'm guest host, Nikki. I'll be filling in for Sandy tonight because she's not up to doing the show this week. And if you want to know the details as to why, check out her blog on thelesbianmafiacast.blogspot.com. Um, just to let you know, I recorded this intro about three times, and I call Sandy up all excited to play this intro for her. And she's screaming and yelling at me, who is this person? I don't know who this person is. Press stop, press stop. She's like a fucking Nazi. She's, Sandy is the podcast Nazi. That's, that's what she is. She thinks she's Fellini or something. I've been on the show before and really I'm I'm honored to be asked to do this. And I'll be sharing some material that Sandy had lying around her hard drive from a few weeks ago. Some of it's including me, some of it's including other chat with Tash from Australia. It's a little unfinished and a little scattered, but she definitely wanted to post something for you guys. Sandra told me to, when I do the intro, to um, tell you a recent story. And the most recent story that I have to tell you all is I bought two tickets for a friend and I to have dinner on a farm in Connecticut. And I'm thinking, this looks really cool, really interesting, and I look at the ad and it looks elegant and upscale, and has people whining and dining on a farm, on a vineyard, so my friend was like, yeah, yeah, let's go, so we went all excited, we went to dinner on a farm in Connecticut, we showed up about an hour and a half late, we got it out of our car, and we were looking around, and everyone's sitting on the lawn. And they're all prepared, and they have blankets on the lawn, they have chairs, they set out tables, watching the band. And me and my friend looked at each other like, what the hell is this? We didn't bring any chairs, we didn't bring any tables, we didn't bring anything. We didn't bring anything to sit on. We're like, where the hell are we going to sit? So she's like, I don't know, let's go sit in the back someplace, you know, try and blend in. So we go, we're sitting in the back, we're trying blending in, we sit on the grass. Our asses get all bit up from mosquitoes. So now it's time to serve dinner. So there's a big, huge line. So now we're waiting online and someone calls us. You, you guys, come over here. You guys, you came late. We saw you come late. Where are you from, New York? So now everyone's staring at us. Oh, come on, skip everybody. They're up for seconds. So we go, we get our, our dinner. We sit down on the grass again. We're eating. It's a real farm, there's cows going by, chickens, there's, there's a vineyard. <laughs> and I said, yeah, some, some elegant, you know, dinner this was. So I'm telling Sandy, I said, Sandy, I thought this would be, you know, a nice, elegant dinner, beautiful scenery, and she called me a moron. And I said, what do I know? I'm from Brooklyn. I felt like I was in Alabama. And she called me a moron again. And then she said, you better be telling this on podcast. So I'm a promoter here in uh, New York City, and I I promote special events for women. And if you're from the area, or you'll be in the area, at the end of September, Friday, September 26th, it's our shiny disco ball party at Stay Lounge on the Lower East Side. Okay, so here we go. What did you think? What did you do to the Georgians? My uh, mic is dead. You don't understand my perfect English. I like stabbing with the knife. I stabbed him. Hello? (laughs) Hello? I I tell you, I like stabbing. And how did you do it? Uh, With my bare hands. (laughs) With your what? With my bare hands. You're a very good singer. Is elbow connected to the wrist bone? Is the wrist bone connected to the rest of the hands? And I'm like stepping the Georgians. This is what I do. This is my job title. I'm like step the Georgians. <laughs> How did you apply for that job? I did not apply. I just apply myself. 
Yeah, I apply myself to my job. I get tired, not much, but it's a really fun job, you know. It gives me something new to do every day. One day it might be women and children, but first I'm like raping the women because they, they just worry too far over there. They need to teach, need to make teach Georgians what real men is like. What? But I give, don't you know, listen, I, I give the Georgian women Real uh, dick, you know, is here you Americans say, real dick. <laughs> I give it to them and I show them it's bad to be blood a poof. It's very fun, you know, I mean, Mike put slide in, you know, put a condom on. She, you know, argue. Well, she does argue, but then I just hold the gun to the head and she just shut up. Yeah, but then she's going to be half Georgian and, and half Russian. Well, she has full Russian meat inside, you know. <laughs> Ew. Next is the children, I show them here to my babies, you know. Oh, yes. But not, and then, but afterwards, I shoot them because I don't want Georgian babies. <laughs> and Shut then up. I wait for husband to come home, and I'm like, hello, bang. When my pizza is coming, in the garlic bread, don't forget the garlic bread. You know, actually, we do deliver to Moscow. Well, that's very good. You Americans know how to do something for once. <laughs> What, what, am I calling New York pizza place? Yes, it is, it is. Do you have a special delivery for extra charge? I pay you good money. Oh, yeah. You you do special delivery for extra charge cause, um, to keep me company on lonely nights. <laughs> me, I kill my wife because she tell me she's Georgian. And I was like, why the fuck you lying to me all this time, bang? <laughs> bang? You think that damn gun, Mike, you know how it is in New York. You should know that. Let me make you feel at home. Cha-ching, bang. <laughs> My name is Vladimir Kruskov. Tell me something. Do you know Tyra Banks? Yes, I do know Tyra Banks. How do you feel about her? I feel very angry. <laughs> Why are you angry at Tyra Banks? I mean, I, because she's not responding my calls or my email. I'm like, I'm Russian. You like all kinds of people. I'm Russian. You should like me, and you should suck my dicks. <laughs> but if you tell Tyra that you have uh, lots and lots of money, I'm, I'm sure she'll answer her telephone. No, I don't have a lot of money. I have a lot of bullets. Yeah, I have a lot of uh, machinery guns and the, the pistols, you know. I have a lot of that. I don't think she liked that one. No, no. I mean, also, also, uh, me, I don't know where I am now. When my pizza comes. <laughs> your, your, pizza's, happy, you know? your pizza's on its way, my love. It's on its way. Yes. Yes. You call me love. Oh, you like me very much, huh? <laughs> uh, but of course. I love don't Russians. Lie for women. <laughs> yes, they're very beautiful people, Russians. Yes. These women especially, you know, I, me personally, I like, I be honest with you only. I might say, me hate the poofs, but sometimes I like to take it up the <laughs> Let Let's go on with this quiz. Um, so, so that you can, you can prove to the world that Americans are stupid. Is New Zealand a part of Australia? No. Uh, good no. bravo. <laughs> Okay, question number two, because I failed miserably at the first question, so, okay, go ahead. Okay, okay, let me think. Um, this is the dumb American quiz. We don't know anything about anybody else but ourselves, right? Is that what you're saying, that we're self-centered pricks? Well, you didn't know we had states. You don't learn shit like that. At least we learn about other countries. <laughs> yeah. We have to learn about America. <laughs> Rainforests. All right, does Australia have any kind of forest? A rainforest? Yes. 